Hi everyone, I'm Tony Gale and today I have a word from the Lord and that word is the sunglasses. Before we get into the word, feel free to subscribe and join the Roots family. It doesn't matter your ethnicity, it doesn't matter your age. Join the Roots family because we are family over here. Let's get into the word. Heavenly Father, sweet Jesus, our mighty King, our Lord, our Savior, and our friend, Father, Lord, God, sweet Jesus, I welcome you into this place. Wherever I am, you are welcome. Father, Lord, God, speak to me so that your people can hear you clearly. Abba, our Lord of hosts, sweet Jesus, let myself decrease. I let your spirit get the victory. Do not let me add any words to your words. Please, please help me, O oh Lord God, to speak it just as you gave it to me. In your mighty name, I will forever pray, my King. I love you, Lord. Amen. So... You know, this message is for a man. You know, at the beginning, I be, I thought I was for a woman. Because, you know, somewhere along the line, he said to me, Sh she then go and marry someone else. That was, you know, why I thought he was for a woman. But, you know, after the Lord gave me all the details, it's definitely for a man. So he gave me a scripture. It's taken from St. Luke 2, verse 11 to 12. And it says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. He shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. So that was, you know, their sign. So this message perhaps is your sign because the lord has given me a whole lot of details so you know you're someone who you must have been asking the lord about your kingdom wife the lord of hosts that i know you know the one that we serve he's not someone to like put out a word out there for you unless you were asking him things you know are you were saying it in your heart you know let me go on to you know 13 of St. Luke as Luke 2 13 and we're going to go on to 19 and it says and suddenly suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men and it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass which the Lord hath made known unto us and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger and when they had seen it they made known abroad a saying which was told them concerning this child and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds but mary but mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart you know how do we know that mary was pondering these things in their in her heart unless the lord of hosts saw that she was you know it doesn't matter what we say the lord knows her heart you know there are things that i say you know and the lord reminds me you know you remember when you said that like years years ago and these are things that i said like under my breath or just like silently in in my heart and he reminded me like you know, because he knows everything. And many times, you you know, shows me that, you know, I'm really the Lord. I really know you better than you know yourself. <laughs> you know, so you must have been someone who's talking to the Lord. And you have questions. You have questions. And, you know, perhaps you're afraid to ask or you have asked him. So this message is for you. And the Lord is just so amazing. Like, he loves each and every one of us the same you know he just loves us so much the same like when i was waking up this morning he said remember to make the message and he said it in the nicest way it was like remember to make the message you know so he really cares about you he cares about each and every one of us so you know you are saying to yourself that there are many 
guys out there that um she could be with right that is what i got and i didn't understand at first the way that the lord said it but then he gave me a vision to make it very clear so you know in this vision i saw some guys they were standing they were looking over a wall right these guys were looking over a wall and when they were looking they were looking down at some you know some girls they were in like the sea they were having like a swimming competition and like there was one who was like doing really really well and like the guys were like cheering her on and cheering them on and stuff but you know battling the holy spirit it was the one who was like winning they were more you know leading towards so that one is perhaps it's your kingdom it has to be your kingdom wife the lord really showed it to me like that you know when she was about to you know win the competition because she was getting close you turned away the guy you know the one who the, the lord is speaking to you turned away and you just left you stopped watching and you know left the other guys to watch and then this word came you know idiot i'm just going to say it just came don't kill me it's what i heard it just came <laughs> and like i was like like that word is a bit harsh you know but then he said to me you know he didn't say to me but he revealed it to me by the holy spirit that this is what you have been saying to yourself this is what you have been saying to yourself that you are that word because you are watching with them and then you just left and that word just came is like you were saying you know you're not qualified for this person look at so many other people who are seeing you do you know well i i can't stay here i'm no match for the rest i'm no match for the rest you know and the lord gave me that specific words because you know when i use specific words those are the words that people come back to me and say yes because the lord knows your thoughts and he knows your heart so sometimes i say things it's not really how I would put it, but the way that the Lord said it to me, because it's the way, you know, He can get that message out to you, so He can, you can know that it's for you. You know, He said to me, be specific, and you know, you just don't feel like you're worthy. And sometimes when we don't feel like we're worthy, we rather settle for someone who we think that we are worthy of. You know, and sometimes that's not the person who we want to be with. You know, so the Lord has given me twice. Twice he gave me Malachi. Like the power of God. I said, Lord, give me a sign. Like I kept asking the Lord, should I put this message out? Should I do it? Should I do it? And he gave me Malachi. And then, you know, he gave me Malachi again. The same verse. The same scripture. You know, because... This is how he lets me know that, you know, I'm really, really saying that you should, you know, speak from this, you know, Bible scripture. He gave me Malachi 4 verse 2 and it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with, with healing in his wings, and he shall go forth and grow up as calves, calves of the stall so that's the verse he gave me i was like lord because you know i asked him twice and he gave me the same scripture so i was like lord i do not understand so he gave me fertilizer that's the word that he gave me fertilizer so the way that he put it to me is like you know god is growing you up god, god is growing us up you know and you can choose choose to be grown up naturally or you know you can choose to be grown up with fertilizer like you know certain crops that you know farmers use that farmers grow they use fertilizer sometimes but it's not a natural way you know it you know grows them it makes you you know it grows them fast and all that it do, does what it needs to do for them but then it's not necessarily healthy you know what i mean so like the lord is trying to grow you up in the right way the natural way not the easy way perhaps it's not the easy way but he's really growing you up the right way so you have to be 
honest with yourself that you know this message is from me the lord is speaking to me and you know i i'm not unworthy you know the lord chose this person for me many people in this world you're looking for you know that god ordained partner right and not many people get to you know have their ordained god ordained partner like that because i don't know what reason perhaps i don't talk to the lord but the lord has really chosen you you're chosen for something because the lord has really you know he's showing you so therefore he sees you and therefore you're not alone and you're not unworthy as you think you know therefore it means no matter what you have done the lord has forgiven you you know because there's some reason why you're just like you know i'm not worthy lord i don't know so you know i had a vision of me holding a briefcase oh my goodness uh, last night i was so tired and like the lord downloaded this stuff into my spirit because he wasn't you know i wasn't able to be spoken to because i was so tired but i don't know just downloaded it into my spirit and like i, I just had a vision of a brief me holding a briefcase right and like it was the holy spirit that revealed it to me what it meant and i was holding the briefcase and like the lord revealed it to me that you know i'm holding on to something i didn't know what's in the briefcase but you're holding on to something you are holding on to something and what's inside that is what you know the lord has for you what's inside so you know when the lord connects you with your kingdom why it's about what's inside each of you, you know the both of you you know that you're going to offer to each other you may not be able to you may not know right now but it's really about what's inside and your relationship is to give glory to the lord you know if you're someone here and you're like afraid ashamed of your past don't be ashamed of your past it's good for you to be honest you know be honest the lord showed me this honest scale some days ago be honest be honest it doesn't matter what you have done in your past it's really good for you to be honest because then you know you the lord can really get the glory because then people will see that oh this person was really you know bad but the lord really took him from there and really brushed him off and like gave him a whole good wife and like you know helped him to be you know good for the kingdom so like many times you're just like oh i've done this and i've done that but it's not about what you have done really it's about your heart many people do bad things you know and that's not right but you know it's about your heart the lord sees your heart he sees why you did it he sees where it's coming from he sees the whole beginning of everything of why you do the things that you do some people do bad things because they are just they love it but some people do bad things because they lost themselves they lost themselves along the way so you know when everyone condemns you god doesn't condemn you he's giving you a whole wife and both of you are you know a gift to each other don't you know put yourself down and be like oh there are other guys who are no you are a gift to her she's a gift to you the lord actually took her from you and created her he created her from you you know and that's reality that's the reality of things nobody is inferior here no one's superior here you're supposed to be helping each other with the lord in the middle of your covenant in the middle of your relationship you know what i mean so you need to just know that you're loved you're blessed by god you're not condemned you're not that word sir you're not at word you are you know a child of god you know we're not called to be perfect we're not called to be perfect we're just called to live in love it's called to live in love so anything that you know you have within yourself pride you know 
covetousness, whatever you have, you're carrying, just put it to the Lord and say, Lord, I desire to be cleansed. I don't know how I can be fixed, but please help me. I claim your precious and holy blood. I am here, Lord. You don't have to speak it like how I have sp spoken it. Just be honest. The people who, you know, are meant for you, they will love you for who you are. You don't need to pretend to be who you're not. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to pretend. And I just felt like saying that for some reason. But you don't need to pretend. You know, the Lord loves you. And, you know, just be honest. Be honest about where you're coming from. With the person who you're called to be with. You know, the Lord would not give you someone and say, you know, go to her and be with her unless she was ready. Unless, you know, well, you have to speak to the Lord unless you are ready. But, you know, you really have to know that the Lord has chosen you to be with this person. And, you know, you're saying that she will marry someone else. Take it back to the Lord. So, yes, you know, you don't have to, you know, shout. The Lord hears your inner thoughts, just like Mary. You know, he says in two kings that, you know, when Isaiah went to Hezekiah and told him that, you know, the Lord said that you will surely die. You know, um, Hezekiah turned to the wall, you know, he turned his face to the, the wall and he spoke to God, you know, and the Lord, you know, we know that the Lord added 15 years to his life. So, you know, even if you turn your face to the lo the wall, he hears you. Even if you're in darkness, he hears you. Even if you're speaking it within yourself, you're just like, mm -hmm. he hears you. He hears you. It's no joke, you know. And don't forget to thank God when you receive this woman. Don't forget to thank God. You know, practice. Just as we practice to be dishonest, let's practice to be honest. Be honest. You know, I'm coming from a dark place. And I've done some things that I'm not proud of. I've been with. I was bruised. I was destroyed. I was broken. These people, they used me. These people, they harmed me. These people, they were awful to me. And I was awful to them. I had to hurt them because, you know, I was feeling some type of way during that time. I just felt like I had to. Like, just be honest. You know, I'm just giving you an example. Just be honest. And let, you know, just be honest, you know. The Lord wouldn't call you to be with someone if you're a awful, you know, a child of God, if you're an awful person. You know, there has to be a reason. So that means that he sees your heart. Even though you, even if you have done things, he sees your heart. You know, and that's all that matters. And he wouldn't call you to be with someone unless you either desire to change or you can change. You know what I mean? So, sometimes you're waiting to be perfect to go to the Lord, but He wants, you know, to be strong in our weakness. I believe that there's a scripture in the Bible that says that He wants to make Himself strong in our weakness. So, go to the Lord while you're weak. Go to the Lord while you're, you know, not great in your eyes, you know. Just go to Him, you know. And I, I heard the word relief last night. So, when you get this message, perhaps you'll be relieved, like, Yes, Lord, you heard me. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with this message. And yes, that is my message for today. Continue to stay blessed.